Hello? Hello? Sorry, I didn't mean to crack my knuckle right next to the mic. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick, S subs is, uh, thank you so much to Bread Dog and Rapture's Folly and Toastmaker87 and Darth K Candescent and Fontaine for subbing and thank you Bamitz Ham for giving one out. Sup, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Juliaria. And Kiniku Driver. <laughs> I'm sorry I scared your dog. Art by Annabelle. <laughs> um, thank you, non-binary robot, for Convert in your sub and thank you, Nudie Branch 93 for subbing. And we're hype training again. I still don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> Happy Grand Maranana Day. <laughs> um, what am I doing today? Okay, so here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> Um, last time I wanted to focus on like coloring while I was on stream. Uh, thank you, Wolf Squanch, for gifting five. Ah, and thank you, Off Brand Ginger, for subscribing. Um, but last time I did an art stream, I didn't finish the drawing before the stream, so I ended up spending most of the stream drawing one arm, <laughs> and then I just erased the whole thing after the stream ended. Um, did my face freeze? Yeah, well, um, as long as it's working. Thank you, VV Ancient, for giving out a sub. Um, <laughs> so this week we're drawing two arms. Just kidding. I already finished a drawing, but I kind of overdid it, and it's a really complicated one. So we'll see if I can even come close to doing much color on it over the course of this stream, but I figured we could just hang out and talk. Maybe if you're working on something, you should pull it up too. But anyway, it's not this, it's this. <laughs> so um, I felt, I, I don't know if people have noticed, but um, I've been playing a lot of Digimon by which I mean I've been grinding endlessly in Digimon because I've been really busy. Um, but I got Mastamon the other day, so I really wanted to draw Angewomon <laughs> and Lady Devimon, so I did. And, um, and I realized that this is a really complicated piece, and I already forgot which parts are background. And it's just going to take a long time, so we're just going to hang out. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Um, but yeah, which Digimon game? I'm playing Digimon Hacker Memory, Hacker's Memory, because uh, I played Cyber Sleuth at the end of last year, and I really liked it, but I took a break from it, and I started again a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, if you have something to color, you should hang, pull it up and hang out and color together, because um, what I'm going to start with doing, because I realized what a problem I made for myself with this piece um, is that there's a lot of there's usually I would color in the figures but I thought it would take less time to color in the negative space so that's what I've been doing um, but then I had to set up the stream so I stopped <laughs> but yeah <laughs> We're just we're just hanging out <laughs> and and talking and stuff. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> I can be your angel woman or your lady devil man. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what I prepared for today. I either do fucking nothing or I do everything too much all the time. So I guess that's this week. 
But yeah, so <laughs> how's everyone doing today? Also, Wool Squanch, thank you for giving out five more subs. And thank you, Hot Damler, for subbing. And thank you, Buntis Jojo, for giving out a sub. And thank you, Ion and It Karen and Not Row 56 for subbing. I think I said V the Ancient, but if I didn't, thank you again <laughs> for giving out a sub. Well, I didn't boomer up my chat enough. How's Derek Kale? I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> uh, please make it bigger so I can see it with my eyes. Color. I'm going to do a coloring page I bought from an artist friend. It's a USPS fundraiser, and it says snail mail is red. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad. I've always thought about putting up just line art on Gumroad for people to color, but I don't know. My line art's kind of a mess, so all things I'm sure I'll relearn about myself the further I get into this absolute nightmare of, of a mess, but... <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna make the custom emotes we've already because uh, we made a few on stream and we've colored them uh like they're ready to go i think maybe they're just being uh waiting on to be approved or something i'm not sure <laughs> you know except for the part at the end where i forgot to end the stream i think the neopet stream went super well and you know not to sound too prideful but i'd say it's worth checking out if you're into watching someone play neopets wow thank you guys for the hype train <laughs> did i win the art contest i haven't heard anything yet i keep popping back in every day just to like do Trudy surprise and see if I've won the art contest, but I forget how long it takes for them to decide. But we'll see. Like I said, I've been kind of busy lately, so <laughs> can I make a 90 minute video about Neopetzalar? Like Neopets lore, like the story mode of Neopets, because I did not care one bit about that at any point in my life. I just, <laughs> I just wanted the pet sim. Um, if you want to know about like Neopets itself, I know that there's um, a video by Down the Rabbit Hole with this other Neopets YouTuber. That's you know, gives a lot of good information about the history of Neopets, so <laughs> there's a story mode. There's lore, like there's a story to Neopets and there's characters, but like I I don't I don't know it. <laughs> Yeah, there. Book of Pages. Book book of Pages. Book of Ages. Jelly Neo. Also, thank you, Chavers and Heartless Quail and Fozzy and Scrib Jellyfish for subbing. Yeah, Wizard and Bruiser did a Neo Pets episode that I sat in on and offered a little bit of insight into that was really fun um and yeah there, there's a couple youtubers who do neopet stuff that i watch i know the one who was on um whatchamacallit uh down the rabbit hole her name was like pet simmer julie um but yeah she does a lot of like pet sim sites so she has a few you know Sincere videos on Neopets, if that's what you're about. <laughs> How is Jake? I'm not sure. 
I haven't talked to him in a while, but the last time I saw him, he was doing well. I was on their Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. What is time? Like a couple months ago? A while ago. <laughs> that thumb I just got here and the thumbnail has so many lines. There's more lines. There's so many more lines to be had. I was like, I'll just draw something so I have something to work on while I stream so I don't have to think too hard, you know, and then it's a win-win situation because then I can just draw something I want to do and then I have something to work on while I stream and then I drew something way too complicated. So now I can panic anyway. Um, does anyone know the other Drawfee team's Twitches? Uh, Jacob and Julia are at Secret Sleepover Society, and Nathan as at, blah, 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 is at Nathan's Other Show. I believe those are both all one word. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hi, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Neopets phone beta, blah, blah, blah. the Neopets phone beta does not have a lot of stuff built into it, but you know, it looks promising ish. <laughs> How's my day been? It's been pretty chill. Um, my sleep schedule's kind of whack right now, so I woke up pretty late. I ate some lunch. I had some tres leches right before I started streaming. I finished this. I spent most of my morning finishing this drawing. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I had my way... Deadfish26, every stream with just be Neopets. Every single one, but I figured I'd be productive today. <laughs> uh, thank you, no one at all. I, I Makes me happy when people watch my stuff. Oh, what the... What? <sighs> What am I looking at? Okay, I think this line just isn't finished because I don't have a brain. <laughs> uh, my YouTube channel is same as my Twitter. It's still Fasor. I could change my brush size and make my life easier, but I could also just not do that right now, I guess. <laughs> What's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster? Um, mm, I'd say as an overall choice, Marshmallow. <laughs> I just think it's neat. <laughs> it's neat. And it could... God, I don't remember what... What is this? That's hair. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> I drew this like two hours ago and I already don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah. <laughs> 
you like that my coloring layer is named God fucking damn it? How do you guys manage to like see everything every time I accidentally flash up my tiny, tiny text things on screen? Well, good for you. Um, Cause here's the thing. I don't know if this is gonna be a coloring layer cause what I'm doing right now is I'm coloring in the negative space. Cause I feel like it would take much longer to color in the actual you know, figures in the drawing. So I figured I'd go backwards and color in the negative space and then like invert it somehow <laughs> or just color under it in, in a panic. But um, so this isn't, if it were my color layer, I would have given it a normal name. <laughs> but instead this is my, oh no, I've made a mistake for myself layer. <laughs> What's a recent obsession that inspires fan art? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been playing a lot of Digimon lately, and I get I get very sucked into that. I haven't even been playing Animal Crossing that much lately, just because I can't grind a Digimon if Animal Crossing is running, so I pop in once a day just to make sure everyone's okay. See that Raymond's not sick, because he usually is. It's a sickly little child, that one, but... Um, yeah, it's that. <laughs> Mikey Buckholes says, Karina, I didn't think you ever heard of Neopets. It's shocking, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Starry Sky Raymond is a Victorian child. He honestly is. He's so helpless. I have to take such extra care of him because he's always getting sick, like more than any other villager, and he always gets fleas. Like, he doesn't know how to take care of himself, and he's very weak. <laughs> but that's okay. He's my favorite. <laughs> There's a joke about Derek, Hale, and Raymond somewhere. Oh, now we're tapping into some galaxy brain shit. Could it be? <laughs> Animal Crossing villagers can get fleas? Yeah, constantly. My entire town is flea-ridden. It's awful. They've been pretty good lately, but I feel like I get an absurd amount of fleas on my villagers. Have you seen Ross O'Donovan's Flea Museum? No, that sounds fun. I should do that. I should keep all of Raymond's fleas and like put him somewhere to shame him. But whenever I carry around a flea, someone like buys it off of me immediately anyway. So I'm just like, you're all nasty. <laughs> I can't, I can't gonna assume that this is not gonna get colored in I don't know you know we're just gonna work our way up you know in a couple more weeks maybe I'll have a what is this okay um art stream where I'm actually like shading <laughs> well drawing Jess thank you for giving out five and JF Post subscribed, and Zephyr Feline subscribed, and Captain Mustachio36 gave out a sub. Thank you. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Why Dilphosaur? I get this question so much. TLDR, I thought it was funny. I am a poor reader. I always me misread. So whenever I was reading about dinosaurs, I thought it said Dilphosaurus instead of Dilophosaurus. And then I thought it would make a funny username. 
and now it's too late to change it. <laughs> but I still like it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the difference in workload since y'all for y'all since going independent? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say there's a huge difference. It's more of just, you know, we were on hiatus for so long and so much is happening in the world that now we're just kind of easing back into the way things were. There's not a lot that seems new. It's just getting back on it without going crazy. I think once we hit maybe like month two or three after, you know, relaunching, it'll be pretty chill. I think our, by which I mean, I think our busiest months are like, right now. <laughs> What was it like to work for BuzzFeed? Hmm. Scans my brain for what to say professionally. <laughs> um, it was fine. It was my first job uh, out of school. Um, technically, I wasn't staff. I was on a fellowship there. And... Um, so I was basically a glorified intern, but no, it was, it was, it was good. It was nice. Um, you know, everyone there was nice. Uh, I just ended up having to leave because of company reasons, money reasons. So, and then I freelanced for them for a while and that was not great, but it's a living. <laughs> What's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh archetype? Uh, I mean, here's, here's the thing. I only play decks from characters who I like and whose play styles I understand. So the decks I like to play the most are Crystal Beast and uh, Ancient Gear and Ojama. But like not combo Ojama with dragons, uh, just, p just pure Ojama because I like dumb shit. <laughs> Xmex2001 says, I like your AC unit. I don't know if that's sarcasm, but thank you. <laughs> um, it's not that hot today, so I was thinking of turning it off because sometimes it buzzes, but if, if it bothers anyone, do actually let me know because I will take that to heart. <laughs> Why can't I use the fill bucket? Because my line art is an unmitigated disaster. My line art's like never closed, so this is why I'm usually always painting things in. <laughs> People on the Kaiva episode were like, why didn't you just fill bucket the flowers? And I'm like, because I didn't close the line art. <laughs> um, this one I actually didn't procreate, uh, which meant I was using the only brush I ever use. Um, oh, poor... Funkatronicty. I'm sorry your AC is broken. That sounds truly awful. But yeah, I did this in Procreate, so um, if you can't tell, it, I used a pencil because I use the 6B pencil for everything I do ever. Um, so it's just extra wonky. I could probably fill bucket it a little bit, but 
I'd feel better just doing it this way. That's all. <laughs> Snow rush. Eh. Oh, war twelve four four gave out ten subs. Thank you, and also thank you to Avier Nan and Sawdust and Diamonds and not Miko and X Hikara X and Combaticus four and JF Post seven. Thank you for subbing. I forgot if I said drawing Jess. I actually I did think I do, but thank you again for gifting five sibs. Beep 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 beep. I mean, I don't mind coloring in this way. There are worse things in this world. I'm pretty sure I did my entire thesis film this way, just coloring it individually, <laughs> painting in frame by frame. So, you yeah, know, it is what it is. Y'all forget that I am an animator and I have intense patience. What a, okay. Well, I marked this, so I'm going to assume that's correct. <laughs> Karina, one hour ago, do not lead me astray. Oh, oh. Wolf Squanch gave out another three subs and Zephyr Feline gave out another five. Thank you. Are you working on any animation right now? No. Um, we are going to get back to doing Drawfee animated, but that'll be more of a bonus thing instead of the scheduled stuff it was before. But, oh God, what did I do here? Um, you know, like I said, we're still kind of easing back into, you know, 100% and you know, finishing up all of the stuff from the relaunch and launching the Patreon. So once all of that's settled, maybe then, oh, did I finish? Is that everything? Wow. Um, I feel like I should fill in, oh no, uh, fill in some of that. Oh, right, the chains. <laughs> I didn't want to put these chains in, but there was so much empty space on this side. Damn it. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. I feel like I need to fill in some spot up here a little bit. I don't know which one, though. That, that one. I'll do this one, too, for good measure. That goes down here. Maybe this too. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Sakara91 and Fletch Feathers. And thank you, a time, a, a time air for gifting a sub, and Bam It's Ham for gifting two subs, and Lunar Bum Bun for gifting a sub. I don't think I played a proper Digimon game, only phone apps. I was playing Digimon Rearise before I got Cyber Sleuth, and I I stopped because I was like, I I know the type of person I am, and this is a gotcha game, so let's not <laughs> let's 
not let myself get too deep into this, but I did I did like that one. <laughs> oh yeah, I should check that I filled in all the holes on the wings. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. We're just having a chill stream. Drawing some Digimon. Coloring in some complicated nonsense. Okay. But do I want to... Do I want to just color below this layer? And... I feel like that might actually be a little bit cleaner than inversing the selection. <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter what I do? Um, yeah, this one needs to be filled in. They can all be filled in. <laughs> Am I excited for McCree and Hanzo redesigns in Overwatch 2? Yeah, I'm excited for any scrap of content and lore for these characters that I became attached to and then never got any closure with. <laughs> Um, I don't even know anything. I haven't been paying close attention to Overwatch because I kind of, my interest in it kind of waned. Um, but, yeah, whatever happens, there's going to be an Overwatch too. Yeah. <laughs> Area near the top neck. No, that's hair. Um... It might be everything. I made a I made a complication. Should I do that? Maybe I'll do that. I feel like there needs to be more negative space on this side. What res do I work in? Um <laughs> Sorry, my brain stopped. Um, that's a good question. Like, what screen size do I work in? Or, like, what my canvas dimensions are? Any pro tips for drawing boobs? Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't draw a lot of, like, big boobies. So, it's just a fun experiment every time. But just remember that they have weight to them. <laughs> and that they're, you know, fleshy. <laughs> Uh, DPI 300. I just defaulted 300. You never know. You never know when you want something to be basically print ready. All right. Okay. Let's put that back the right way. Now I have to make a decision. So I'm going to do something that's probably not going to look very cute real quick. But I want to just see how this looks against the line art. It looks okay, but I'm going to clean this up anyway. Um, is it better to save for a smaller Cintiq or get a bigger Huey on tablet now? Um, I don't know. That kind of depends on what's more important to you. Uh, again, I've never used a Huey on, but I've never heard bad things about it. Everyone seems to like it. It's kind of like the other big brand. Uh, <laughs> and like if size is really important to you, then just get that. Like right now I have the, the big Cintiq. I have the 22. And um, but I, I happened upon this due to uh, work. But, um, you know, uh, before this year, I've been working on the 13 inch Cintiq since 2017. So, and I never, I never really had an issue with the size. I just, you know, had the chance to get this one. So I did. And, um,
Like, I don't know. Get whichever one you think will suit your needs more. And, you know, both in terms of art, but also price. Like, if, you know, research, if there's, like, good reviews for the Huion, and if it sounds like a good deal and you're going to save money, you should just do it. <laughs> Not to be rude, but is Yu-Gi-Oh really your favorite anime? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of anime that I really like, but I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh is the one that I've connected to the most emotionally. Like, um, here's here's my Yu-Gi-Oh tattoo. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I wouldn't say artistically it's my favorite anime, but... As an overall experience, it's it's my favorite anime. <laughs> um, like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend Yu-Gi-Oh's an artistic masterpiece, but I like the art of it. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, this is pretty clean. I might just... I might just use the red as a background layer and then color under it because I'm lazy. <laughs> Did I ever have to animate on paper? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I was an animation major. I have a whole college degree in traditional animation. So yeah, I've done a couple shorts on paper. Um, and I did my whole freshman year doing paper. So that was fun. I kind of miss that. It's it's a disaster because you have so much paper. But um, I do. I, I did enjoy. <laughs> I did enjoy it to an extent. Uh, what's a specific image from my Yu-Gi-Oh tattoo? It's the pieces of the Millennium Puzzle. I keep saying I'm going to post a photo of it because I never did after it healed and then I never did. So maybe I'll remember to do that today or maybe I'll just turn my brain off the second I leave the stream. Who knows? Life's a mystery. Yeah, I could just select the red layer and inverse and fill. I might just do that. I don't know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Like all now, now. Okay, did I put that back correctly? Kinda. Okay. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. near the lady's right elbow. God, I don't I don't even know what I'm looking at. Are you talking about this part? No, I was gonna leave that filled in. <laughs> I think I've gotten most of it. It's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess and I think I've hit most of it. <laughs> no, that shucks. Sorry, I'm like reading Shave and a Haircut's message. Eh. It's not that I feel like I need to defend that Yu-Gi-Oh is my favorite anime. I just, you know, as someone who absolutely adores it, I'm allowed to say that it does not have a great art style. There's a lot of anime that I'm like, it's not necessarily like my favorite, but uh, I love the art, so. And vice versa. Okay, let's start filling in some splat this all down. Okay. 
Okay. What anime do you think has some of the best start? <laughs> um, well, as I've mentioned on, you know, Tuesday's Drawfee, one of my biggest inspirations in anime is uh, Satoshi Kon. I adore his work. I think it's super good. I love his art. I highly recommend checking out some of his stuff if, you know, it seems like it would appeal to you. Um, I'm also a big fan of Hiroyuki Maishi and, like, that whole team at Studio Trigger. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And yeah, like, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! has good art. I, I will gladly defend a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! art, you know, just so we're clear. Um, but I, it definitely has a lot of weak spots. That's all I'm saying. You're kind of, you're kind of gray. And this is all skin. If I just color this whole thing upside down. Because I have no control. But yeah. Like, I feel like in terms of directors, Satoshi Kon and Hiroyuki Maishi are like... <laughs> those are my guys. I like them. Um, sometimes their work is really weird, but artistically, oh buddy. Oh boy, I love it. coming out with a steel set of Paranoia Agent. Oh boy, I can finally get another copy of Paranoia Agent. I have all of Satoshi Kon's stuff on old ass DVDs, so <laughs> I've, I've been here for a while. Uh, it's kind of dark. Um. My copy of Millennium Actress is actually um, from Blockbuster. When the Blockbuster near my house where I grew up closed down, they were selling all of their DVDs. So I bought their copy of Millennium Actress. <laughs> so that's the one I still have to this day. And if you haven't seen that one, that one's really good. I rewatched it before working on my Kaiba piece. Uh, it was really good. It makes me cry. <laughs> okay. God. Lady Devimon has so many gosh darn doodads. I swear to God. No, damn it. That doesn't matter. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Uh, sorry if I'm drifting in and out of the chat. I, I'm trying to figure out what I did. <laughs> what shenanigans I did. What is, what is this line? Why did I put this line here? Wait, what the fuck is this line? Ah, well, I'll just make it into something, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, girl. Girl. God. Just getting everything laid out. How do I get out of art blocks? I don't know. Um, I draw a lot less 
for fun nowadays just because I'm I, I draw so much for work that I don't know. I don't know if I ever really feel incredibly art block so much as just plain burnt out. But um, if I kind of just don't really know what to do, but I want to draw, I'll either do something wildly different than what I usually do. Uh, so I, I do this fun thing sometimes where uh, I have a lot of gray toned paper and I have a lot of Posca markers because I impulse bought a bunch <laughs> because I haven't left my apartment in a really long time and if I you know just don't feel really like I'm doing good draws or I don't know what to draw and I just kind of want to get that energy out I'll just do some weird mixed media stuff because I like to do that kind of stuff um I did it a lot as a teenager and I realized that I really missed it. So it's something I've been trying to do more often now just for fun and for myself. But uh, yeah, that or do studies. <laughs> I feel like that's my personal answer of just like, I want to draw, but I don't know what to draw. So I'll either do something really boring or just something really weird for my own amusement. Or I'll just play video games because that's kind of an important part of my artistic process too. Not working, you know, you'd be surprised how much it helps. <laughs> uh, got some. I'm still not a gamer, though. <laughs> You've got eyes. You've got eyes. Um. Uh, Karina, my line art is really stiff. Do you have any advice for making better line art? This is kind of something I wanted to touch on. Um, for those of you who are patrons on the Belief to Learn tier, I believe that's the one it is. I should know. I made the tiers, um, but or I made the art for the tiers. But um, if you're ever feeling like your drawing is too stiff, um, draw less. Draw less with your hand. Use your whole arm, <laughs> you know, because if you're just drawing, let's, let's do a little, I don't know what's here. Everything's skin now, but you know, if you're just drawing, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I have a pretty steady hand at this point in my life, but you know, Use your gestures. <laughs> this is me um, workshopping my eventual class that I'll have to do for our patrons. Because <laughs> uh, I, I come from, as, as I mentioned, I was an animation major. I come from an animator background, but I also did a lot of like figure drawing in high school. And um, <laughs> I, but yeah. I feel like, because I don't do a lot of pure inking, in case you couldn't tell by my wonderful pencil line art, um, but, sorry, it's Thursday, I'm not, my brain's stupid, but, I don't know, I feel like if people feel like their drawings are too stiff, it's maybe because they're not using a fuller range of motion when they draw. Because I've kind of trained myself, I feel, to articulate at least up to the elbow whenever I draw. So. Yeah. Maybe someday we can do some 
30 second figure drawings. I miss that from school. So, but yeah, if, if your art feels stiff in general, you know, try practicing doing a bit, being a little loosey with and fast with your stuff. How do you do that and get good detail? Rain it in and out, you know, say, <laughs> let's bring back the skin. <laughs> My canvas is completely diagonal. You know, say, say you want to draw an arm with, with some stuff on it. You can do it like that or you can do, you know, get, get that gesture in there. And then, and then you can like, you know, pull it back into your wrist and your hand to do the smaller details. Just, I'm not going to draw a hand. I'm not going to draw a hand for you people. <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> but, um, yeah, welcome back to arm stream. I told you I draw two arms. Here they are. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I feel like just know when you need to, yeah, I know the layer is hidden. Thank you, Photoshop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I already drew two hands on this. I drew three hands. But um, yeah. I'll need I'll need to really workshop this, this cl teaching class I, I want to do. But yeah. If you're feeling stiff, Start with gestures. Start with your gestures and then rein it in. <laughs> I actually didn't even check what color. I was right. I'm a genius. I'm trying to think of like what fun um, shenanigans I used to get up to in my figure drawing classes. Um, I had this one teacher who would hold summer classes in his garage and I really liked them. So I kept forcing my parents to let me take them because <laughs> they were a little expensive for what they were. But, um, and he always had us doing some really wild, <laughs> um, some really wild activities in order to think differently about how we drew. I remember there was one time where we were partnered up and we had like the model on the bench and one of us had to actively get in the way of the other to block them <laughs> um, from seeing the model. Because uh, then it would force you, the person drawing, to, you know, take in as much little bits of information as you can and work fast. So. Ah, the fun. I miss, I miss draw, learning how to draw. <laughs> Have I ever worked in sculpture? Yes. I, I've. Uh, I went to the high school I went to um, specialized in art uh, I forget how it works across the country and um, in other countries even but we, we it was an art magnet school if that makes sense we specialized in art and um, I, I basically did a full foundation of everything in my first two years there. So I've done sculpture. <laughs> um, and I'm not good at it. I'd argue that I'm pretty bad at it, but I've done it. I've done most forms of art and it hasn't always been pretty, but I do, I do appreciate that I was able to do that. Okay, now I see that part wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> great 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 I don't I don't know 
Yeah. We should do something like that on Drawfee, the blocking each other. I would love to. I miss I miss learning how to draw. And that was a fun class. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe when we can actually see each other in person again. Boy oh boy, I can't wait. It's gonna be the best. But yeah, I had a really good time in art high school. I did it all. I look back on it very fondly, so that tells you all you really need to know. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't read subs in a while. Oh, not that long. I think I only missed Yami Vakora 13. Thank you. And I need to pet your cat. I think I got everyone else. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh -huh. Do I have any desire to do canvas drawing? Do you mean like on canvas, like traditional. Yeah. I miss doing traditional work. I used to do a lot more, but. Um, I basically only work digital now, so I, I just feel like my traditional work is really starkly different than my, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> everything else I do, so. But like, like I said, I've been trying to do a bit more, especially with, you know, being stuck at home almost all the time now. Uh, and yeah, I just feel like it like it's it's nothing like this. <laughs> Can you Bob Ross with us? I would love to. <laughs> okay, raining it in. Let's see what's a good face color. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I make my shading look better instead of just doing it darker? See, this is why I wanted to be able to like shade a drawing on stream because I thought it'd be fun to discuss with you guys. But instead I keep shooting myself in the foot and making my life hard. But, um, you know, I say rule of thumb, if you want to liven up a color. Actually, I take it back. I was going to say, Maybe don't shade with black, but you know what? There's, I, I've literally been doing that in the past few things <laughs> I've posted. So I take it back. There are no rules. There's no rules in art, actually. You just find what works for you. Um, but yeah, uh, you can use multiply layers, you know, assuming you're working digitally to use different colors to create the shadow because let's just, uh, this face is kind of done-ish. So what I typically do when I, eh, bah, bah, bah. let's here, there we go. I usually don't leave a lot of my drawing white. I think depriving white from the drawing actually makes it more powerful. So I usually put down like a very light tint of some color like that and then I love doing warm and then cool shadows so I'll do a light blue let's uh, 
I don't have a light source. I'm just making this up. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then if you want to go deeper you can just pick actually that was a stupid pick a deeper color actually I don't want that deeper at all so something like this and then you can put in some white because if you've muted the white in your drawing by tinting it with a different color then the white that you put in becomes more strong so then you can just put in whatever white you want and yeah <laughs> yeah just then you can experiment and be real wacky with it because let's say I wanted to delete this white and then make this real real funky what's a real funky color I can do <laughs> everything is just a pink on a blue that's how I work find what works for you <laughs> and then you can just do the same thing but now it's real funky if you want to get super funky you can add a little bit of highlight that's weird. That's a that's a weird choice, Karina, but you've already put it down in front of everyone, so follow through. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you ever feel like your stuff it, the shading looks kind of off, you can you can just mess around. You're allowed to just mess around. <laughs> yeah. And then this one we can add white and it's going to look crazy. Boom, 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 boom. Value, value, value. I don't know if this answered your question now that I think about it. I feel like I just went off on a tangent, but, um, you know, this is a really easy way of doing it. Uh, Whenever I draw Promare fan art, because that movie has a delicious color palette, um, I tend to just uh, color drop it. And I notice for them that they don't do anything like this. They have individually, you know, color by color picked the shadows and stuff in a way that's incredibly harmonious. And my lazy ass could never, but, you know... There are times when just having the darker color is the right choice, but if you want to get real, you know, experimental with your color choices, that's a good place to start. Just, you know, make a multiply layer and get real funky. <laughs> anyway, enough fun. Let's get back to painstakingly filling in these flats. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, I don't know if I like that. Let us, let us heck around with this color a bit because I'm not crazy about it. I like that better. <laughs> Yeah, no more fun on this stream. We, we, we've we reached fun capacity. I did one multiply layer. One of these days, I'm going to have both the drawing and the flats done before the stream. 
<laughs> and it's going to be a real riot, but not today. <laughs> Also, hi everyone. If you're just jumping in, welcome to. I'm trying. What are your ears? Thank you everyone for supporting my desire to draw the the Digimoms. You know, what if we kissed in the digital world and we were both girls and we digivolved into Mastamon? <laughs> oh, I have to draw these fucking color in these chains. Okay, okay. I'm figuring it out. I'm I'm coloring it. I'm doing it. I couldn't have chosen a more complicated drawing to do as a fun chill stream time, but it was either this or the Neopet coloring pages I <laughs> saved on my computer last week. Actually, I might have deleted those cuz they were tiny and stupid, but that was my other thought and I went with this one. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Raichu Riot. Thank you, everyone. Have I thanked Have I thanked Bert Word and Frostback Yeti for subbing? Cause I just did. What's better for an illustrator, an iPad or a Cintiq? Um, hmm. Cause here's the thing. I use both. I use both for completely different things. This this piece I started on the iPad, and then moved it to my computer so I could use the Cintiq. Cause I can't stream from my iPad, but if if I could, I would. Um, but. I don't know. I feel like I discussed this a little bit on my last art stream, but uh, I'll put it this way. At a, hmm, at a professional capacity, I feel like just having a whole desktop setup or computer setup of your choosing is a bit more useful because as much as much as I simp for Procreate, you know, it has its limitations and there's things that I just don't prefer to do on there. And it's, it's nice to be able to just move it to my computer. Um, and yeah. And again, like, I feel like the Cintiq is not necessarily the end all be all of like, you know, I want to be a digital artist. I need this. Um, you know, you, you can do perfectly fine with a tablet. Oh, I've said this many times, but I used a Wacom Bamboo tablet, which was kind of their low tier tablet for years, for about six years. Um, I made, I didn't even have a Cintiq until 2017, so I did all of my art school assignments and the first two years of my career on a bamboo. So, <laughs> um, but if you're a person who maybe doesn't have a lot of space for like an entire setup or anything, uh, or you like to be on the go a lot, or if you like to draw in bed like Karina, um, I really like the iPad. There's more and, you know, there's a bigger and bigger market for illustrators who work on the iPad. So, you know, there's a lot of software that's becoming available 
for various price points. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I don't know if there's like a right choice between the two. It just depends more on like what you want out of your, you know, art thing. Because I'm, I'm lucky enough to have the choice of both. And I use both for completely different things. But I also use both simultaneously. Yeah. Project Shun says the iPad is a big investment, but I use it. I literally use it exclusively now. Kind of same. Like, I you know, clearly use Photoshop for a lot of things, um, especially on Drawfee, but for my own just personal enjoyment, because I, I just draw a lot of stuff for funsies, I I almost exclusively use Procreate. You know, outside of Drawfee, I use Photoshop for making comics. And even that I might start in Procreate because then I can do it not at my computer. Um, and like when I travel, you know, remember traveling, but um, when I'm when I'm doing stuff like that, oh, I put this in a weird place <laughs> and I'm not going to fix it because it's not my problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't have a laptop anymore, so iPad is perfect for when I, you know, go visit home or something or I'm on the go because it's so easy to carry around, but it is expensive. Uh, do I listen to music to get a specific feeling for specific drawings yes constantly I don't know if anyone um notices but whenever I post my drawings on Twitter or anything they'll have these fake deep captions or just these random captions they're lyrics from the song I was listening to while I drew it <laughs> um this one I'm listening to Raising Hell by Kesha that's what's playing on my headphones <laughs> Why don't I use the fill bucket tool? Cause you know what? I don't, I don't know. Cause my line art's usually not closed. And instead of making the effort to close it at any point while I draw, I just do this instead. <laughs> I don't mind doing it this way for the record, but I'm sorry if it's not terribly interesting to watch. <laughs> I still need to try um, Clip Paint Studio. I keep not buying it every time it's on sale, but I know that one is chock full of tools that sound exactly like shit that I need in my life, but eventually I hear so many great things. What advice would you give for someone wanting to get back into art who was an average student 10 years ago and hasn't done it since? And now it's Tourette's for an added challenge. Um, I, I don't know. I always feel like saying something along the lines of, ah, just do it, is, comes off as kind of lofty. Um, but I feel like at the end of the day, that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, sorry, it's it's hard to flat and talk at the same time, especially when I'm trying to give useful advice. But I, I don't know. I, I have trouble articulating myself about art advice sometimes because I feel like I come from a bit of a lofty place because, you know, I... Uh, it's just what I've always been doing and I've been relatively successful in that, but... I definitely feel like 
um, art as a hobby is more about what you want. It should be very self-serving to you. I personally love to only make art that's in self-indulgent and self-serving to me in some way. Um, and it can be scary to share your art with people, but at the end of the day, it's more about, you know, making something for yourself. Oh God, I paused the chat. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, grayscale 10, uh, no, wrong one. Sorry, Grayscale 10, but Drawing Jess says, come up with a reasonable art goal and start working towards it. Also fantastic advice, but I feel like if you want to just start doing art again, it's just like, you should. Like, um, is it just for your own enjoyment? Then just do it. Just do what you need to do, you know. <laughs> Sorry, great scale 10. Like, it's a different story to get into it as like a career and stuff. Art, art hard. Art monetization. God, what a nightmare. But the act of just, you know, drawing and making stuff, you know, I, I personally get a lot of enjoyment out of it, regardless of whether... I share it and it does well or anything, you know. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, who's here? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Anyway, circle back around from my useless attempt at advice, you know. Uh, think about what your goals are and what your intent is and eh, just good luck. <laughs> oh, are Julie and Jason here? What is this? Why did I... Disgusting. Ew. Okay. Uh, good. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Lots of good messages in here. I, I don't, I, I keep missing who's here, but whoever's here, hello. I'm drawing Digimon <laughs> and trying my darn hardest to give advice while I do that. It's hard. Oh no, scary. Well, hello to everyone who's in the chat. Every single one of you. What am I looking at? Oh, I know what this is. I know what I drew. <laughs> I can't believe the entire chat is Drawfee. It's every single member. <laughs> yeah, where's David? Also, sorry... For any questions and junk that I'm missing, I'm illiterate. And also, it's, it's hard to focus on too many things at once. But I love you guys. I hope you're having a nice, nice time. I just, I just, ugh. Nope, not what I meant to do at all. That was a mistake. Actually, why is this even here? Oh, 
Oh, God. I, pro I probably could, like, select tool some of this, but I keep choosing not to because I want to be crushed by my own hubris every day of my life. <laughs> What hotkeys do I use? Like none. Um, <laughs> I, I'm really bad at optimizing my hotkey usage personally. So I use all the basic hotkeys that I, I actually know. So uh, control Z, R to rotate canvas. I love, <laughs> I love rotating my canvas. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the fact that I am not fill bucketing any of this, but um, I'm kind of a simpleton when it comes to using Photoshop. So I, I don't have a lot to help you with on that one. <laughs> I tried setting up some hotkeys on my on my Cintiq on the little buttons on the side. I was just touching them. Sorry if that looked weird in the camera. But um, they didn't work, and half the time they just disconnected my entire Cintiq for some reason, so I just stopped using those, and I try not to touch them at all. Uh, <laughs> um, it would have been nice to to have that, but for whatever reason, the Cintiq's pretty old, so who knows? Um, if I change the brush size, I just do it like this because I'm not smart. <laughs> Do I have any guesses on who murdered Soren Justice and Draw Tactives? Um, I guess out of character, my serious guess. Um, hmm. I also know a little bit more because because we record the episodes in advance, a little bit in advance, one by one, but I feel like my my gut has always said Don Jovi, but I'm not sure. That's just baseless assumption. <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna make the boobies shiny? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> be exclusively zoomed in on that part. Um do I have anything else to color on you, ma'am? Kind of. But I don't know. That's an assumption based on nothing. He's got a he's got a knife and he was awfully pleasant, which I just don't trust. So but yeah, I I occasionally I'll pop into the draw detectives chat on the uh Drawfee Patreon Discord and I'll be like, oh no, these g absolute geniuses have actually put way more thought into it than I, a person playing the game, have sometimes, <laughs> which is, which is, you know, arguably in character, but I'm very excited to find out more. It's one of my favorite things to record. It's just really fun. Can I demonstrate how to fill line art? Uh, I could. <laughs> I could, yes. Um, see, the problem with this one is that the line art's just also really uh, chunky and icky because I used a pencil. So I don't want to get too crazy filling it because I'll still have to paint in the edges anyway because it's going to get real wonky. But I can show you. Okay, what color do I, it's not quite flesh colored, but there's my light background. Let me save, cause one of these days Photoshop is gonna crash. Here's my, that's a really good circle. <laughs> I can always draw the best circles when I don't mean to. Okay, magic wand tool. <laughs> uh, Expand, expand that friend. Um, I usually do by one, but if you if you do chunky line art, you can do two. Boom. <laughs> Wait, what? 
since this is my line art layer. Yeah, yeah. Band. Clean as hell. Smooth as shit. Yeah. Just give you red eyes. <laughs> like Derek. <laughs> and that should look fine. Yeah. No little anti aliasing nonsense. Boom. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just not doing it on this one because um, I, I used a pencil sketch as my line art <laughs> because I'm a genius. Um, color are your chins. There we go. I like that. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Gonna eat more tres leches after this. <laughs> Let's mark this down so I can remember later. Mm -hmm. I missed a spot. I'm always gonna be missing a spot. D d d what do I look like? <laughs> person who cares um oh, i forgot to color in these heckin wings lady devimon is such a nightmare of a design i just she already has like such a weird silhouette and then i realize she's wearing like a million chains and she's covered in spooky ghost <laughs> girl Oh, thank you guys. What are my thoughts on Samug? Uh, <laughs> my in character thoughts or my out of character thoughts? I trust her. She's, she seems sincere enough. Just gonna do this all upside down because I've given up. I should probably have zoomed in sooner. I did a pretty good job despite not zooming in. Oh, do I select the color using the eyedrop tool? Eh, not really. I have reference pulled up, but I just... I just go with whatever looks right. <laughs> Are all my colors on one layer? Yes. For the flats? Yes. Um... I do have a second layer that is the background because I needed to do that for my own sanity. But yeah, typically I keep things on as few layers as possible, which maybe that's not the best habit to have, but I like it. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that sometimes. It depends. <laughs> but yeah, I usually do line art one layer, flats one layer, shading one-ish layer, one layer, and then some adjustment layers. I don't know. Um, when I worked at an animation studio, there was one project I worked on that, um, I was on it for like a really long time, all things considered. And I, I was brought back to do revisions after it was like done. And, um, I already forgot what this layer was. I'm just going to make it this color. I give up. I've given up. Um, and I would try to animate on as few layers as possible. And there was this other guy on the team who would animate on as many layers as possible. So say we have three characters in a scene, all of his characters would be broken up between like 
you know, woman, one, eyes, woman, or left eye, woman, one, right eye, and um, woman, one, nose, and woman, one, uh, God, mouth. Whereas I would just be like, woman, one, head, and... Um, Having to, us working together was just an absolute nightmare because we were just two opposite ends of the monster spectrum. Um, it's not that dumb because when you only have to do revisions on, you know, one character's uh, arm, it's helpful to have that arm separated onto two layers. <laughs> so it was it was startling to see, but it's not that he had the wrong idea. It's just that we had such different work styles that it it was it was a mess but there's there's no wrong way to do it that's all so it's whatever works for you unless you're working on a team then it's it's maybe whatever works for everyone <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing anything in the chat. I'm coloring in a chain, which is using up all three of my brain cells. Will I do a metallic effect on the chain? I, I, ideally, how did I meet Nathan, Julia, and Jacob? We worked together. We were all at college humor before, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know when this episode will come out, but... You know, a f spoiler for some fo point in the future or, you know, teaser. We do talk a little bit about our first, you know, official meetings. Or at least my first official trophy experience at some point. So I'll save it for that. It's a good time. Hehehe. <laughs> Funniest experience at college humor. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I just never had fun. That's a joke. That was a funny. Um, I don't know. The thing is, especially once I was working a lot with Drawfee, I felt like everything was really funny. So hard, hard to really pick and remember. <laughs> Are there any plans for speed drawings of everyone else's favorite characters? I wouldn't object. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> I just decided to shoot my shot and pitch the Kaiba one because someone said it in the Discord and I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. So they, they agreed. I didn't force anyone to do it. It was all agreed upon. And I'll gladly do whatever else. <laughs> I'm normal. <laughs> Where Nathan's clone body's hidden, don't worry about it. Can we get a trans rights tonight? Obviously. Trans rights. Nope. Dunzo. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> Lady Devimon is saying it too, but I don't want to clutter it up with comic speech bubble shenanigans. So just just know in your mind. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, it's already almost five. Did I stop at five? I can stop at five. I'm supposed to stop at five, but I also can just keep going. <laughs> Rack in some extra minutes. <laughs> Time just flies when you're flatting in your incredibly complicated drawing. If I don't finish this on stream, maybe I'll just move it back to Procreate and do some soft shading. <laughs> do you mind me asking how uh, long on average it takes to finish a piece? Uh, it depends. Uh, I feel like my times are all over the place. I have been checking my times out of curiosity because, like I said, I work a lot in Procreate, and Procreate does actually log that for you, which is super fun. Um, I did check how long the drawing itself of this took. So just the line art with no color or anything was like six and a half hours, <laughs> which it didn't feel like because uh, I started this last night and then finished it up this morning. Um, <laughs> but other stuff I do goes by alarmingly fast. Nope, that's not the colored part. Um, I know I, I posted it about 5 million times, but the Schmidt drawing I did earlier this week, that took like three and a half, four hours to, but so, hmm. But yeah, like some, something that has like full body, weird pose, anatomy, shenanigans that usually takes on average, like at least seven or eight. Um, I think the last complicated drawing I did was the Promare one I posted a couple weeks ago, and that one took like 14. <laughs> but that was a lot because I didn't plan the pose out, so I kept redrawing it. <laughs> it just it just depends. Um <laughs> Yeah, at yeast. <laughs> Seven or eight hours. I'm always complaining how busy I am, but then I just dissociate and draw Digimon for six hours straight. Um, well, not straight. I stop to sleep, but, you know. Whatever works. <laughs> Do I just listen to one song on repeat? Sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got to have I told this story before, but when I was finishing my, because um, I feel like I brought this up during my last art stream, when I was finishing my thesis film, I was having insane crunch because I had a lot to do in the last three days before I had to turn it in. And, um, you know, long story short, I was incredibly anxious, obviously. So I kind of just stopped sleeping on accident. And um, <laughs> at this time, uh, Panic at the Disco released a new song on the Monday before my film was due, which was on the Tuesday. And... I listened to that song for nine hours straight just because I was like really out of it and I was just really working. I don't really pay close attention to what I'm listening to if I'm really in the zone. It's just whatever, whatever works. <laughs> um, which song? Hallelujah. <laughs> it was there. I put, I put on one of those YouTube infinity loopers and I just went to town because... I had no choice. <laughs> if there's like a song that captures the mood of the drawing, then I will listen to it on repeat for at least a good chunk of the time I work on it. At least while I'm drawing it. Once I color it, maybe I'll switch to something else. Yeah, 
it's all just part of my very cursed relationship with Brendan Urie. And then I went to meet him and didn't recognize him. And then my parents went to a Panic at the Disco concert without me and sent me a t-shirt. So <laughs> not a dull moment. <laughs> I think you might do another Digimon Drawfee episode. I hope so. I feel like that'd be super fun, but um, Jacob has started playing uh, the Digimon games too, so he might know some Digimon this time. Well, I guess he wasn't in them. Was he in the last one? Yes, he was. He did Daipinmon. It was Nathan who wasn't there. Well, I'll just have to pick someone who's not in the games. <laughs> Which Digimon games? The ones on the Switch. Uh, the Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. I love them. I'm playing it right now, except it's just grinding because I'm streaming. need to be coloring this completely upside down, but I think I know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Last Digimon game I played was Rumble Arena. The last Digimon game I played was Digimon Battle Spirit on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Which I liked. <laughs> yeah. Cyber Sleuth, real good. And I love, I love idle grinding. I was explaining to my roommate that I, I've, I've been just, just because I've been idle grinding so much because I'm so gosh darn busy lately. Um, I say, well, I spend endless hours drawing sexy Digimon, but um, I've been trying to get Lusamon <laughs> because I can, so why not? And uh, I realized I didn't train train it hard enough early on, so it was going to dead end, and I didn't want it to do that, so I had to kind of restart training Lusamon. And <laughs> um, my, my roommate was like, this sounds so tedious, and I'm like, no, I like it. It's like a hard mode pet simulator. It's like those puzzles where you um, have to figure out how to do something in the least amount of turns as possible, and I find it really engaging, so. <laughs> Neovade says, Child Lucimon or Scary Dragon Lucimon? I'm trying to get Scary Dragon Lucimon. I forgot to ABI train Lucimon up to 100 because I didn't think far enough ahead. So. Yeah, I can just D-Digivolve and fix it, but I already had it up to like really close to evolving into the not dragon Lusamon and <laughs> uh, then I realized oh it's gonna get dead ended once I evolve it so I had to reset it back to level one but that's okay since I'm usually running my game Have I watched any of the Digimon Adventure remake? Not yet. I've heard it's really good, but I keep putting it off. Um, when I say I don't consume media, that's not really a joke. Um, but I am really bad at like watching stuff, so I, I haven't yet. <laughs> 
I mean, I'll get to it. It would be nice. Oh gosh, when's the last time I read subs? Dinian and La Boon, Boon, and Ikano, Isano, ten eight, and Captain K Shulk. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the raids, Cyvern Cien. I can read. <laughs> Are these girls gay together? I know nothing about Digimon. I mean, <laughs> I will say that, at least in a fan servicey way, when you digivolve these two to combine them into one Digimon, they do like do a kiss. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of annoyed that when I got Mastamon um on on my own they didn't do the kiss cutscene so that was pointless <laughs> all that grinding for nothing okay I can't believe it. I'll have almost finished the flats by the time the stream is over. <laughs> so riveting, Karina. Good work. And then when the stream ends, I can erase everything and redo it completely. <laughs> like I did last time. <laughs> What's the name of these characters? Andrew Woman and Lady Devimon from Digimon. Because <laughs> I have the Digimon brain rot right now and I can't turn it off. God, fuck you, Lady Devimon, and all of your details. I didn't ask for this. I'm actually almost done. That's shocking. <laughs> I never thought this day would come. Now I can do all the interesting stuff off stream. <laughs> like actually shading it. Oh boy. <laughs> do Digimon contemplate the way they look, the way they do? Not really. <laughs> friend just texted me, David, are you watching the stream? Am I making a good case for Digimon? Not, not editor David, Karina's friend David, so, but also editor David, if you're watching the stream, I love you. You're the grave digger said, wait, this looks especially like the pant devil from Neopets. You're right. Fick. <laughs> Forbidden knowledge. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
God, God, what time is it? Oh my God, it's almost five. I can go a little over five. I don't think it's important that I end immediately. <laughs> I did start a couple minutes late. Two whole minutes late. Jesus, Karina. Mm. Right, the skull. God, Lady Devimon. <laughs> Does Drawfee Twitch not have emotes yet? No, I don't think so. Um, some are done. The ones that we drew on stream, I believe. Maybe they're all done. Don't quote me on that. But if nothing else, we're waiting for them to be approved. So I'm not really sure. But they're coming. Okay, so close. Let's just use this color bucket. The chin at the upper right. What does that even mean? <laughs> Which chin? Which upper right? I'll I'll get it. I'll I'll get it all eventually. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it would be wonderful if I could finish up these flats because I'm nearly done and then decide on some shading colors because that's fun that's an actual fun activity <laughs> then maybe I'll just throw this back into procreate and soft shade it I really need to find a smudge tool that works as well as the one in Procreate, in my opinion. I don't know what it is about the Procreate smudge tool, but it unlocks a Zen part of my brain that I want to tap into more. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe if I actually did this like a smart person, I'd be able to see better what I was doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, that needs to be filled. Um, do I recommend Procreate or Photoshop more? Uh, same deal as my little talk earlier, TLDR. Depends what you're going for. Um, my, my thing with Photoshop is that um, I don't really like subscription-based things personally. I, I feel like that's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money to hold a program for. Um, I, I use Photoshop CS6 because I own it. I bought it with a student discount while I was in college. And I, I'm, I'm moving that license around for dear life just because I don't really want to pay monthly to use Photoshop. But um, Procreate, I love Procreate. It has its limitations. Um, what am I doing? I was going to delete this because I don't like it, actually. And you know what? I will use the heckin' whatchamacallit. But now I have to... Nope, not type D in. But clean up this stupid shit. Um, the... Remember what I'm doing. 
So was I talking about? Oh, yeah. And there's options other than Photoshop, just, just so we're clear. But as always, it, it all depends. It all depends on what you're doing. Because I really love Procreate and it's very affordable, but it'll always have its limitations. It <laughs> It works best when used in conjunction with, uh, maybe that was a bad choice. No, I'm going to live with this choice. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, people are dropping a lot of uh, other suggestions in the chat, so check them out. I don't know every program. I've only used so many. Um, sorry, I'm going to put away the trans right for a sec, but it still counts. I'm just going to set up some lighting because it's time. It's time to do the fun part in the last two minutes of the stream. Or I'll, I'll go a little over. But, um, yeah. I only know so many programs. I haven't worked with a lot, but there's so many options out there. So, do I like that color? Maybe. Oh, I kind of like this color. I love some warm tinting, warm tinting, cold shadows. <laughs> I'm such a predictable person, but it's not going to change today. Uh, it's, it's weird that I have this on, but it, it helps. I'm just going to draft this out. I'll, I'll do it properly later. Uh, nope, wrong layer. That look nice. That would look nice. Has <laughs> Julia made any draw tactics rooms with Blender yet? Not yet. All of the draw tactics assets have been done for so long. She worked on them so hard last year. Um, so not for this round. That looks nice. I think that looks nice. <laughs> Y'all think that looks nice? I'm insecure. <laughs> um, and then I can shiny it up with an overlay layer. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. Ignore that the background's still blue. I love this random bit up here. Thank you, Photoshop. But maybe that'll be my colors. I can do that off, off stream because once again, I didn't get to the part of the drawing I wanted to do <laughs> on stream. <laughs> but yeah, this is my, I, I, I pretend like this isn't the color scheme I use for literally every drawing I do. But yeah, I think that looks nice. <laughs> um. Not that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, do I just use one color to shade? Kinda. Um, I use one color to shade purely on a base sense 
if I feel like the shadows need to go deeper to make it, you know, if, if I intend for it to look like my brain stopped working. Yes. <laughs> um, I typically only use one shadow, but I'll add darker ones in either on the same layer or a different layer um, in order to achieve more depth with my figures. <laughs> Thank you. I figured it out. I got there, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'll just finish this off stream because it's it's past five, which means it's time to wind down. But thank you guys for keeping me company while I did the flats. <laughs> next next time I do an art stream, we'll work our way up. I'll have something flatted and we can shade it together. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys. Um, I missed some people. By some people, I meant Cospunk Prince, who gave out a sub. Thank you, Cospunk Prince. And thank you, everyone for watching uh stay tuned for for more streams uh if you're a patreon person if you subscribe to our pa patreon if you're a patron we'll be doing our bonus stream i believe tomorrow but if you're not well we stream every monday night at seven eastern standard eastern time and um Oh yeah, we should raid someone. Who's streaming? Uh, but yeah. Maybe... Maybe there will be other bonus streams. So we just keep an eye out, because we clearly don't announce them super, super early. Um, Dave Greco is streaming. Okay, but what if... I noticed that my friend Sagi VA is streaming, I think, and I'm just considering being selfish and raiding him. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm like checking that he's streaming and there's an ad playing. But y'all want to raid my friend Sagi? I don't know. I don't know how many people may know, but um, this is my friend Sagi. He does comic dubs, and he's dubbed all of Hot Guy PI, all three issues, because there's only three. Um, but you should check those out on his YouTube channel if uh, if you haven't seen those around, because what? Sorry, I'm typing. I'm stupid. But yeah, if you haven't checked those out, they're really good. I love his work. And he's a good friend, and I miss him. So what if we, we raid Sagi? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the chat. I think I know how to do this. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna remember how to close the stream this time. So let's let's all go see my friend Sagi and be super nice to him because I like him a lot. All right, goodbye, guys. <laughs> I hit my microphone. Bye.